This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Wait here! What happened? Uh-oh. I've... Lisa! Daisy! Over! I have a bad feeling about this. Keep the keep the helicopter warm, Shit. hi Riley. A... <laughs> There's the doc. Doctor E. Bernhard. Oh my god. Where are they? Where are my friends? I couldn't halt the jungle warriors. I'm sorry. They carried your friends to the temple. Get to the temple. All right, we need to get to the temple. Apparently, the Rocky Out Warriors have done something to our friends. Have to go now. Come on, dude. What has Citra, Dennis, and the Rocky Out done with my friends? And why? Why? I told them I would stay. Why are they doing this to me? Citra? Where the hell is everyone? You've got some explaining to do! Why are you doing this hotness? Why? Citra, what have you done with I'm my friends? I'm glad you returned victorious. Where are you taking him? I'm helping you. Look at you. Look at you. Big, strong, powerful. Why would you want to go back to what you were? let you live with all these burdens. The path purified you, but the cleansing is not complete. What do you mean? I love you, Jesus. But you do not let me give you all my love. I know how hard this must be. It hurts me to watch you in pain. Citra. I only want to help you. Love you for who you are. To worship the man you have become. It will all be over soon. I will lead you onto the dais, and you will be free of your past. And then, then I'll be yours. Bye. 
powerful warrior. You deserve the final battle. They will all fall at your feet. all these weapons, and you have all these weird tattoos. You think you're a warrior because you collected those tattoos on your arm? I'm still needing them, Jason! I am yours. We all are. This is your island. You're a hero. Your friends, they will move on. Have kids and boring lives. Stay here. The jungle will always be there for you. You will always be king. With them gone, you never have to leave. This violence is over. I'm done. No more blood. Jason. with me you don't need any of them you are powerful on your own Jason I love you Jason what is wrong with you she tried to save me she saved all of us and you reject her love ah! I love you. Don't leave me. I'm sorry. Sitra, please. Do not leave me, please. Sitra, I am sorry. Sitra, please don't, don't leave me. I'm a monster. I can feel the anger inside me. But I am still somewhere inside me more than that. Better than that. Well, there you go, folks. That's the end of Far Cry 3. In all of its glory. Man, that was a pretty messed up, like, long episode of a couple near the end where you had to 
fight Hoyt, save your brother, then, you know, confront Citra and your friends, and you either choose the good path or the warrior path, or the civilized path or the warrior path, whatever. I don't... It's kind of weird when games have, like, that last-minute choice at the end, kind of like it almost, like, disrupts the story at the very end. It's like, oh... Because you do all the missions, there's really not a whole lot of decision, really. And then all of a sudden, they tell you at the very end, Oh, good or bad. Which is pretty much how it is. I've heard the other ending isn't a whole lot better for choosing the whole warrior path. You know, the whole giving in to your desires. I'll try to see if I can load that up as well. I don't know if this game saves it, like, right after. You, like, to the point where I can't replay the last level, for example. I... I hope you can, because I'd hate to play this whole game again just to get the other ending. If I can, I'll show it at the end of the credits here. If not, go look it up online, because I, you know, like I said, I don't want to play the whole game just for the alternate ending, you know what I mean? And it's probably not even that much better. But, what can I say about this game? It was a, it was a fun, enjoyable game. Um, I mean, as a first-person shooter, sure, but at least it wasn't just you know, fight terrorists, whatever, do this. It was about a character growing from the weak, wussy Jason Brody to almost giving him his, to his, like, basic desires at the very end, to the warrior Jason Brody or whatever. So I thought that was a pretty good story, like, overall. I mean, I wouldn't call it the best story, but it was a good little story about about the growth of a single character. Because in most games, usually the character is already a, a monster or he already's killed people, so there's not much of an effect there. But... Sorry, scratching myself there, but um, they did a good job here about starting him from like weak to strong. That that makes him a little bit more identifiable, and you kind of grow with them when you do all the killings and stuff like that. You can kind of see his slow change from from civilized man to uh, to barbarian, or however you want to describe it, whatever. Um, the characters in the game were were very interesting. Not so much his friends. Sorry, scratching my eye. His, his friends and, like, brothers and stuff like that, they were interesting enough, but they were definitely your standard standard friends and characters. What I really liked was the villains. Okay, the villain. Hoyt, eh, he's kind of a standard weak villain. If, if you have to compare him to a lot, he seems to be just your standard business dude. Now, Voss, Voss was an interesting villain. Unfortunately, he never truly got inside his head, other than the fact that he's just crazy. You know, and too bad his confrontation. Basically, his confrontation kind of takes a downward spiral to the story. Like, as soon as you take him out, it kind of goes a little downhill from there. It feels like just the story goes... I don't know, it doesn't It doesn't go up, it goes down after that. I don't know, that's how I felt. Like, I liked the, like, I liked, I liked the last part of the game, but it wasn't as good as the first part, I think. Especially when Voss was like, you were trying to find him and confront him and how crazy it was. Like, Hoyt was crazy... But he just wasn't in he wasn't interesting as a crazy man, but Voss was. So I'll give points for Voss for being a more interesting bad guy out of uh, ones I've played in a long time. So that was pretty cool. Uh, sucks what happened to Citra though. She was a she was an interesting character too. I almost knew someone like that was gonna happen just because she's related to Voss and Voss was just crazy and that's when he was taking drugs. And she's probably was eating mushrooms or something like that. That's what why she was crazy. She was all into that stuff. I understand it's a different culture, but, you know, she was just insane. That's sad she died, and I can't believe Dennis was the one who killed her, even if it was by a complete accident. But, his friends are off the island. What'll happen to them? How are their lives react? We'll never know. It's just... Just the way the game goes. But, it'll be interesting to see if they do a sequel to this or something like that. Probably, if they do a sequel, it won't have anything to do with these characters, but... Overall, it was a really fun game. Um, it had some replay value in terms of just doing all the missions. However, since I beat him through the first run, there's really no reason for me to just keep this game. Now, not saying it wasn't fun, I didn't enjoy it, but I can only get so much out of enjoyment out of this game, because uh, one go through and you do all the missions. I mean, there is some replayability, but, and I wouldn't do it just for the other ending. I mean, I did, like I said, usually those types of endings are just either tacked on or just like, okay, here you go, quick, few minutes, and there you go, bing, bang, boom, you've got an end. But, so, my, depending on the price, 
at, at the price it's currently at, although this may change when you watch it in the future or whatever, I would say send, send the rental back. It's I've played it through once. It was fun while I enjoyed it. I did all the stuff I could, but I've finished. There's no reason for me to keep playing anymore. Now, if you were someone who just did the story, and then afterwards, I assume you can run around the doing all the side quests and stuff like that. I mean, that's fine if you want to do that. That will give you some replay value, but still, that's beating the game and then doing it afterwards, not restarting the game and starting from scratch. But that's my feel on it. Send the game back, though a enjoyable experience nonetheless. Well, I'm going to leave it off here. I'm going to let the credits run. And like I said, if I record the bad ending, I'll get at, tack this on to the end. If not, thank you all for watching. Appreciate you going through me on this crazy journey down the rabbit hole. And I'll see you when the mail comes in. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you then.
Jason. Prepare the Tatao. The Rakyat will be reborn. The ultimate warrior has given himself in the place of the coward Bast. Kunta, untuk anak-anak kami. Let his spirit be released for the future of our people. It is done. Hold me. You are perfection. The ultimate of your kind. And our child will lead the Rakya. Rage against the darkness. You are a warrior. Die a warrior. That was it! Oh my god, cheap! That's it, that's it! I'm done! I'm done! Send it back! Send it back! I'm, I'm done with this!